continues. All right, it's time for another Ask the Trooper, and today we are joined by Trooper Ryan Davis, Louisiana State Police, talking about an oldie but a goodie, heat safety, because it's getting hot out there, summer sure is. is here. So we want to just remind everybody of some simple tips they can remember, so thanks for joining us this morning sure on thing. these hot days. Now, the temperatures are kind of crazy out there, and a big thing is, you know, leaving kids or pets mm -hmm. in a car. So what are some do's and don'ts that people should remember when it comes to that? So first off, um, you know, on a 90 degree day, your vehicle can quickly reach 109 degrees yeah. in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And after 30 minutes, it can it reach in excess of 130 degrees. So obviously we don't want to leave our, our kids or pets in our vehicles. So there are a few things you can do to help remind yourself not to do so. Um, and everyone, you know, we love our kids and our pets, but sometimes accidents happen. So mm -hmm. um, there are, they do sell different things, but if you have, say you have a scrunchie that reminds you of your daughter, you can put it on your gear shifter. Oh, yeah. Um, they also have some new, some new uh, Bluetooth devices that if you have like a bracelet on your child or on your dog's collar, that it will, so it has a proximity alert. So if you oh, get so far yeah. away, uh, it will notify you on your phone. Also a new thing they come out with, you know the clasp on the car seat? Mm -hmm. yes. They have um, some aftermarket ones you can do that will actually regulate your child's, or uh, record your tired t child's temperature. Oh, okay. Because even though uh, you're in a car and your AC's going, a child has much more difficulty regulating their yeah. temperature than an adult, and sometimes those back seats can get hot. So that's something I would also recommend for parents. Um, if your car's been parked up, you know, you want to use a sunscreen if possible, but also those car seats, yeah. direct sun can get hot. So if you can place a towel over it to keep those, uh, to touch temperatures down before yeah. you place your child in there, obviously you can put your purse or your phone in the back seat, so it's something that you always have to grab yeah. you know before you exit your vehicle yeah that's smart i like that i didn't yeah. know about a lot of those things um that they had or even the like putting the scrunchie on mm -hmm. the gear shift that's pretty cool and too. they sell some some that say hey your child's in the back yeah. you know Check ones that are specific seat. but if you have something that just remind you of your child maybe a teddy bear uh, yeah you know yeah that's smart I especially if you have a, like a lot of kids my dad yeah. has seven kids total <laughs> yeah, so we've like been forgotten reminders. once or twise yeah, he needs yeah. like seven reminders. different things yeah like, all across the, the first child. child this one's for little Susie yeah. yeah oh yeah that's funny definitely so Trooper uh, Davis what are some things that people can do like if they see a child that's like locked in a vehicle or an animal right so I, I've done a little research in this because it is a, a, a gray area so yeah. to speak. We do have child endangerment laws. We also have um, laws against cruelty to animals and we have the Good Samaritan law. So the Good Samaritan law says if you see, you know, a person in need, you can act. Okay. How it applies to like a child or a, or a pet in a vehicle, obviously if they're in distress, you know, act. Yeah. If you are concerned about maybe their well-being in a, in a heated uh, or a hot vehicle that's not running, um, but you don't deem that their life's in danger, you're first to try to source the owner of the vehicle. Okay. Uh, you can call the police, but by all means, if you, if you feel that their life's in danger, I believe you're covered. Okay, awesome. That's good to know, definitely, because we definitely want to be looking out. And like you said, sometimes accidents happen, right. so we want to want to look out and definitely make sure that they're all safe. Now, when it comes to driving in these hot temperatures, in the emer case of emergency, if somebody maybe gets stuck on the side of the road mm -hmm. or something, and it's really hot, what are some things that they can maybe have with them, or things that they can do to prepare for that? So, uh, water is huge. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, it doesn't take to get take long to get dehydrated in these hot Louisiana summers. Um, and before that, though, you know, general vehicle maintenance, tires, cooling mm -hmm. systems, make sure that your air conditioner system is charged and working correctly. But if you do find yourself stranded, you're in need of help, you can call 911 or star 577 to reach your closest troop. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Learned lots of stuff today. I, lots of things that, you know, should be common sense, but also I didn't even think about a yeah, lot of things you, you talked about. Know. So, yeah, things people need to be refreshed on. So, yeah, thanks for coming for out sure. and letting us know. Definitely stay safe out there, guys. It's getting hot and it probably won't go away soon. So, okay. definitely be safe. Thank you again, Trooper Davis, for yes, coming thank out. Thank you. Yes, for sure. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after the break.